so good at this. Dad, you, you didn't tell me you wanted to see me. time for this, Christopher. I only came back home to get a file for my daddy. And the truth is, you can't see the kids. Not right now. So I suggest you stop bothering yourself so much. Pauline! Dad, there is nothing to think about. Dad, her writing is my future. What is wrong with you, Michael? Do you want to ruin your life? Dad, I'm trying to make a life for you and the family and you're hell-bent on writing this garbage. What the hell is wrong with you? You can join your writer, brother, and be worthless. And do not bring that shit into my company. Anymore. Never. A blow job in the office. Really? Have some distance, you, Richard. The man was 76. 76. He was good for another 10 years until you wore him down. You have exactly one hour. No contacts. Well, I'm afraid I shall also be obliged to lock the door. I hope you understand. What if there's somewhere in the documents that states that since we're not treating each other equally, that he just might will the entire money to some old lady in a quiet room? Besides, the will clearly states that the money should be shared between us. We had less than 10 minutes to go. I had to decide. Even then, I didn't know how I would vote. The silence grew on us, and the clock kept ticking. Tick tock, tick tock. One minute to go, Mike. <laughs> 